Hi, I'm Dave Sidden, Executive Director here at Wildlife Images. Today we're working with one of the most recognizable large raptors here in Oregon. This is our osprey. And this particular osprey came into our facility as a result of one of the local forest fires. It was caught up in the fire. Its feathers were badly damaged by the fire. So now it's going through the convalescent stage and treatment for um, all of its injuries. And one of the things that's difficult with ospreys is that these birds stress out very easily. They're very difficult to work with. They don't adapt very well to captivity right away. So um, the ladies here in the clinic have to take extra measures with these birds. It takes a lot of time. They have to feed it. Right now, he's going to be getting some salmon. And unfortunately, the ospreys don't really quickly accept fish from us. They sort of resist the whole thing. So it's a matter of actually force feeding them. You got to get the salmon inside them, get it in their mouth deep enough that they'll actually, it triggers a swallowing and they'll go ahead and swallow the salmon. And of course, the feather damage on this bird is pretty extensive. We can look at the feathers and a lot of the feathers were badly singed in that fire. And that would seem to be a fairly superficial injury, but it, actually it's not. These birds are migratory. So typically in, uh, within a few uh, weeks from now, they would normally head to the southern latitudes to spend their winter time. And then of course return to Oregon again in the spring. Well, with the feather damage, this bird is not able to take off and migrate. So we're gonna have to keep it for at least a year and let the damaged feathers molt out and then the new ones grow back in. Now, if you'd like more information about ospreys and how to care for their habitat, how to support us here at Wildlife Images, of course, you can log on to the KTVL website. From that point, it'll take you to the Wildlife Images website. You can get all the information you'd like right there. So we'll look forward to seeing you again on another episode of Walk on the Wild Side.